Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement for episode nine of the series, Firefly. And I do my best to try to keep these intros short because a lot of you are like, just watch the show. But I like to share some thoughts with you sometimes because after I've watched the episode, I give you my initial thoughts. But then I sit and I think and I ruminate, puzzle pieces get stuck together. I watch it again, more things come to light. And I like to share those thoughts with you. And episode eight, Out of Gas, is one of those episodes that is very thought provoking on multiple levels. And one of my favorite things to do is uh, figure out why or find out why storytellers choose certain ways to tell their story. And that's what makes the creative process so interesting is that you can give the same writing prompt to five different writers and get five completely different stories. And with Out of Gas, the writing prompt was, give me a tale about backstory, how these characters came to cross paths. And I found it very interesting that they chose to tell it the way that they did because it very could have much easily been what we had more or less been initially given. Dinner, laughs abound, books telling stories about his life in the monastery. Somebody could have said, oh, hey, that reminds me of the time we met Kaylee. Boom, and then we get backstory of how Kaylee came onto the ship. Ha ha ha, oh, remember when we met Wash? Boom, backstory about Wash. And that's how that episode could have gone. But oh no, no. They decided to, let's add this element of explosion, takes out their life support system, now they're gonna die. And then let's find out how they all met. It's crazy pants. And then we added the element of present, present past, past, to also interweave amongst the general theme of how did these characters cross paths. And that, what that also did was added this lovely little layer of subtext. If you need an example of show, don't tell and subtext regarding Mal specifically, I love how we find out about Mal, not directly. It's all indirectly do we find out more about Mal. I find that fascinating. But in this case, he shows how he cares about his crew in multiple ways. And like, for example, you know, he, he's the one that tells the group that it's Simon's birthday. How did he find out? Oh, the, another arrest warrant came in. It had Simon's birthday on it. Did he keep that information to himself? No, he decides to share it. Fascinating. And of course, we see him sacrifice himself to give his crew just a little bit more chance of survival because that's what he does. He is all about his crew, which we've seen over and over and over again, which is great. So that part, that how they wove that all together was fascinating. And then also, I do believe Serenity, the ship itself, is its own character. And we got that several times with those just heartbreaking on the edge of your seats where we just hear that horrible blare of the klaxon, which always means danger. I hate that sound. That means shit's going down. You better be on the ball to save yourself, life is in danger. So we had that sound, no people in the room, just shots of the room and people have fled and you don't know why. Yeah, so I do believe that the ship itself is, is a cast member and it's fascinating. I have more things to say, maybe I'll share them later. There's lots of questions about why, why I was so intrigued or concerned or needed to know a timeline of things. There's a reason for that, but I'll get to that later and just start watching this episode because you guys are going, get on with a woman. So here I am, I got the blanket. It's May, in theory, still flipping freezing. I got my water, I hope you do too. Thanks for joining me y'all, and let's get to it. I don't want it. Ruby, you have to eat. It's good, it tastes like... It's good. It smells like crotch. <laughs> We don't even have to go someplace fancy. We can just go to the park or something. Uh, feed the pigeons. Sure, feed the pigeons. Where are they gonna go that has pigeons? That's not Earth. Oh, I'm fascinated. <laughs> There's hiking. Yeah. And you can go swimming in a bioluminescent lake. 
I don't care if it's got sunsets 24 hours a day. I ain't setting foot on that planet. No one is setting foot on that fancy rock. I don't want anyone leaving the ship. So how long are you going to be planet set? Shouldn't be more than a day or two. <gasps> it's guild law. All companions are required to undergo a physical examination once a year. Ooh, a physical? Physical. Ooh, I don't know if I want to know what that is. What? What is? Wow! He looks better in red. What? Goram freaks completely off her axle. What? She gotta go. Both of them gotta go. Ariel's as good a place as any to leave them. Might even pick us up a reward for our trouble. No one's getting left. You don't pitch her off this boat right now, I swear to you. What? What do you swear, Jane? I want to know this, too. This is my boat. They're part of my crew. No one's getting left. Best you get used to that. Interesting little power exchange there. How are we going to find a job if we don't leave the ship? There's a client. Me. I have a job for you. And how are you going to pay, Pumpkin? It's a common immune booster called isoprobolin. Street value for a dosage this size, 50 platinum. Propoxin, maybe 80. They call it a drug dealing? But won't they need those drugs? And all of these are just from the med kit I had with me when I came on board. At a hospital like the one in Ariel City, they'll have shelves of that stuff. OK. I tell you how to get in, get out, and what's worth taking. If you help me get River into the hospital's diagnostic ward. Not to be negative, but don't the hospital need that medicine? Government-run facility. They'd be restocked in a matter of hours. She's right. You're talking about breaking into a highly secure Alliance facility. How do you plan on getting around security? And Mal is just saying, don't breathe near this planet. <laughs> They're going to full on go on and rob it. You see, like all <laughs> core hospitals, St. Lucie's has its own dedicated security force. Was that his hospital? Ooh. Now the standard layout should put the med vault somewhere. Let's go back to the ident scan. Yes, please. And your sister attacked future. Believe me, Captain, getting the two of us in is going to be easy. How about screen out? Only official vehicles are allowed in, so we'll need one. <laughs> this seems awfully complicated for a plan he just put together. <laughs> Okay. Big hospitals mean big waste, so we shouldn't have any trouble finding what we're looking for. Wasn't that a converter that they needed the last episode? All we have to do is slip a couple of bills into the right hands. That gets us uniforms, ID badges, and key cards. I'm sorry, this is like Ocean's Eleven level of heist. That they're doing really quickly. <laughs> we infusers. Infusers. We infusers. Pulmonary, stim pulmonary stimulators and cardiac, cardiac infusers. 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 And what about cortical electrodes? Oh. Let's try that again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pupils were fixed and dilapidated. Dilated. <laughs> Dilated. <laughs> Dilated. You know, my pupils are dilapidated often, especially recently. <laughs> That's amazing. You two did an incredible job. <laughs> they could sell that. I bet. I'd <laughs> get some money off of that. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're ready to save some lives. Oh my gosh, did they have to actually save lives? I don't want to go to that place. I don't want to die. No, no one is going to die. When this is over, I'll be able to help you. I'll be able to make the nightmares go. This is terrible. There's so many things could go wrong with this plan. The doc did good coming up with that job. Don't mean I like him any better. <laughs> he buys bygones quicker than cash. Maybe I'll give him a tattoo while he's out. <laughs> I recognize those little pods. We've only got a few hours left before the morning shift. Won't be an hour. Whole famous last words. What do you got? Got a couple DOAs by the time we got Take there. Take him down to the morgue. 
We applied the cortical electrodes, but were unable to get a neural reaction from either patient. Thanks, Jane. Jeez. <laughs> Should bring them out of it in a few minutes. Once they're up, get them Does to the kitchen. Does this needle? <laughs> I'll just, just sit right here. Why are you leaving the room? Why are you leaving the room? Why are you leaving the room? No. I'm in. Do you have the fugitives? You got my reward? We'll see you shortly. Congratulations. You're about to become a very rich man. Okay, not cool at all. Not cool at all! This is where patients come to get better. They're going to die. No one is going to die. He is. No, he's not. You have to help him. We don't have to run off. Stay here. Don't move. Don't deviate from the plan! What do we have? 42 year old double bypass post op. Prognosis was positive. Sure. Stranger. I've never seen before in this hospital. <laughs> he does that a lot. Puts the needle things in his teeth. <laughs> Which I don't find sanitary. He's okay. For now. Walk with me a minute. Where are we going? Don't get comfortable. Your type doesn't last long here. When your supervisor hears about the fucking death grip. That works too. <laughs> that looks comfortable. It must have been demags. Yeah, just take it all. <laughs> Hologram before Tony Stark. This is great. Let me know when the plan changed. I told you when you needed to know. Be griping about it. You got what you came for. Did he, though? It's okay. We're, we're just going back to the ship. We're almost home. Are you, though? Is this him giving you Federal up? Federal marshals, don't move! Oh, it is giving him up. You are hereby bound by law. Mmm! Dirty, nasty swear words! As if Jane didn't think he was also going to be arrested. I would be shocked if he's not. You're under arrest for aiding and abetting federal fugitives. You're kidding, right? No! How much did we get? Keep us flying. Can we fly somewhere with a beach? Maybe a naked beach? Oh. Mm. Quick kissing! You've got a job to do! Those officers hadn't been armed. I think you'd have had a chance. Oh, Simon! Seriously! You! You naive little pumpkin head! I appreciate you trying. Could be they're just late. Not this late. Jane would have sent up a flag. I am getting some weird chatter from the official 262. It sounds like we're talking about ducks. Mm hmm. I'm certain you're working under a superior who's keeping close tabs on this case. I'm certain of that because important people don't do field work. I'm also quite certain your superior wants me and my sister alive. Now, I'm not going to move from this spot until one of two things happens. Look at Simon go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You've got feet, punk, and use them. Oh, 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 oh. Someone has to die now. This is exactly what I didn't want. <laughs> I wanted simple. I wanted in and out. I wanted easy money. This plan was never, ever simple. <laughs> 
Um, guys, you might want to hurry. Oh, is there a problem? Yeah, somebody wants your spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this fight's still going on. Gentlemen, that was prompt. Prisoners will be out in a minute. Why do I feel like he's gonna get killed? The men were tight-lipped. The girl was just spewing gibberish. We got it all down. You spoke to the prisoners. Oh, you got too much now. Did your men also speak with them? Oh! 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 Oh my lord. Death, run, run, run. That does not look like a way out. It looks like a trap. Dead. This one's alive. Not for long. <laughs> run! That was too much work. Take us out of the world, quick as you can. We'll be out of Atmo in five minutes. Faster. We need to be faster. Next time we come to the core, I'm staying with the preacher. Oh, you hadn't come, you wouldn't be getting your big payday. He was amazing. I can't even begin to tell you. We wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for him. I think I might cry. I am going to cry. All right. Jane, help me with the cargo. It's got to be our best take ever. Mal well, knows. Doc had a good notion. Mal must know, doesn't he? So what are you buying with your cut? Oh, that's right. How did that not kill him? Figured it was time for a little chat. Gonna suck him out. Is what you were doing around the back exit. What? I couldn't go out the front. I had to improvise. You called the feds. My hand to God. May he strike me down as I'm standing here. Standing there long. You know, I hear tell they used to keel haul traders back in the day. I don't have a keel to haul you on, so. That's pretty darn close. I'm sorry, okay? Be reasonable. What are you taking it so personal for? It ain't like I ran you out to the feds. Yeah. But you did. Yeah. You turn on any of my crew, you turn on me. You did it to me, Jane. What are you gonna tell the others? Make something up. Don't tell them what I did. Hmm. The next time you decide to stab me in the back, have the guts to do it to my face. He's a lot nicer than I would have been. Can I come in? Oh, I, um, I brought some medicine. Is it time to go to sleep again? No, maybe. It's time to wake up. So I, I don't know if you've caught this onto this <laughs> watching my videos. I personally, I have severe trust issues. So a character like Jean that is constantly untrustworthy, I can't connect with fully. I want horrible things to happen to him. So that's why when Daddy Mal, oh, Daddy Mal was on fire, I would not have been that nice. I would have let him suck out totally, totally. I, mm, and I know some of you have grown to enjoy, I was going to say endure, endure Jane. I personally cannot, that is my hiccup, that's, belongs all to me. Somebody like Jane, mm, 
no, I could not live with that level of constantly double checking over my shoulder. Could not do that. But this was an episode that was way too stressful. This plan, oh, this plan was fraught with danger from the start. So for me, my level of disbelief, just roll with it. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. But as I was saying prior to watching this, me and timelines. I find timelines very important because time breeds contempt. It could also breed content. But for me, if I know how long people have been crossing paths or know each other, then I can automatically kind of sort of assume how close or how distant their relationship should be. So if somebody's known each other for only a week, I know they will only have a certain level of familiarity with each other as opposed to somebody who's been together for a year or more. Now, of course, you add in the variables of how much time during the day, what they were doing during that time. Is it something that puts them in close proximity? Is it something that takes them away? Yes, that's a variable. But I find it, I kind of find it interesting how long people have known each other, how long, and then how well. For example, if you had a coworker that you've known a week, you're not going to know them very well. If you had known them a year, you should know them fairly well enough. If you don't, I want to know why. Why don't you know? So if you spend a long time with somebody and you don't know them very well, for me, that's a story question. Why don't you know them well enough? You've been with them for X amount of time. As opposed to if you've been with somebody for a shorter period of time and you know lots of things about them, that is also very telling about your relationship. Hopefully that makes sense to you how the picture rolls, but that's why I always want to know timelines. <laughs> so I can tell how well or how not well somebody should know each other. Ta-da, there we go. But a very oh, stressful episode of Firefly. I'm glad you're all here with me <laughs> during that time. Please hit subscribe so you can come back again when we watch the next episode of this and all the other fun shows that are happening. And there's lots of cool stuff coming out at the end of May and June. It's the summer season all. So I do hope to see you then. So again, also, Find some joy today, any joy. Come so, so sparingly, find that joy and we'll see you soon. So until next time, y'all.